everyone, welcome back to Melissa K Plays. This is my talker. It helps me speak August 16th, 2020. Hi everyone, welcome back to Melissa K Plays, like Mel said. Um, it is, like she said, August 16th, 2020. It's a Sunday, it's 3.30 exactly in the afternoon. And today we are using um, Nifty Knitting and Base Game, obviously, to um, create a sim. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my first time actually ever playing with Nifty Knitting myself. I think Malice played it with Elise before. And, um, what's it called? We, um, what are you trying to say? Okay. So, sorry, we, um, played it together for this today for the first time. And it was um, okay cast items for me. It's not my favorite cast pack, but it is fun. It's just a little frustrating when you can't like make a sim outright with the knitting, you know? But I guess that's kind of the point of the whole pack. Follow me on Instagram at Melissa K Plays. Exactly. Follow, Follow me on Instagram at Melissa K Plays. Exactly. She posts a lot of fun stuff. Comment. DM her if you're subscribed, of course. Um, so yeah, yes. I really like exactly. Yes. I really like this bump hairstyle that we chose. We were trying to figure out a different one for the formal, but then we ended up just thinking that we should. Mel said that she should um, have the same hairstyle, the little bumped ends. It looks like the 80s to me, and I really like it, or like the 60s maybe. Um, like Mary Tyler Moore esque. But. Um, I really liked it. There was a lot of, we had to use base game for a lot of it because there wasn't a lot of options for creative sim, which was a little bit, eh. But I think there are going to be a lot of yes. options for build. Maybe we can do a speed build if anyone would like that, or like a build with me type of thing, if anyone would like that to see Nifty Knitting. So comment down below and like this video if you'd like to see that. Um, if we get 10 likes, maybe we'll do it. <laughs> if we get 10 likes on this video, we will make a Nifty Knitting speed build. Okay? Is that a deal, Mel? No? Do you want to make a speed build? No. Okay. Well, then never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Literally, Creative Sims, like we said, we don't really cut a lot of stuff out, so we're... Me, it's basically me and Mel just, like, talking to you guys. And Mel likes that because we can just kind of, like, have a conversation with the audience. So, yeah. Um, then we chose a pink. It looks like a bridesmaid's dress to me for this one. Mel was making every decision in this one. Um, she she really was she was like i want this i want that sometimes she just kind of gives it up to me for some of them but Teen. yeah adult this is the adult we made her very adult like adult. very like a mom and she Kid. has a daughter exactly a single mom and a daughter um so yeah exactly and Teen. of course purple and pink was in every in every outfit i think um, which is good. It's exactly what Mel wants. I think Mel just sees purple or pink and decides that that's the one that she wants. Claire Shabon oh, Dream House. Emma. Elsa. Elsa, exactly. Um, yes. We have to mention every time in the Family Tree Challenge there is a character named Elsa Bjorsen who is also a character in Claire Shabon's which is, Mel loves to talk about that, and it's very exciting for her. Um, Mel was very adamant on what, on the exact, um, outfit that she wanted her to wear. It looks like she had planned it out in her head. She said, kept saying nighty. So that's a little nightgown romper type situation, or jumpsuit around romper. But yeah. Um. Adult. Teen. Kid. The kid? Yeah, we made the kid later after we were done with her. Obviously. And you'll see some pauses because Mel was... Uh... Excuse me. <laughs> they caught a yawn. <laughs> Mel was picking out which one she wanted. And she was telling me which one. And so that's why you see some pauses in the video. We did not like those boots. Um, they Family just didn't really challenge. work with a lot of them. I feel like they only work with Family tree challenge. Do you want to talk about Family Tree Challenge? Well, if you're caught up, we don't want to spoil things too much, but it definitely is exciting. Like, every single episode brings so much more new drama, and it's, like, not slow at all. Like, everything just keeps happening and happening and happening. 
and it's like we're not even trying to for some reason just this challenge it really brings out the dramatics with everything which is crazy um but that's exactly what's happening a lot of drama family tree challenge speed builds can you do a speed before family tree challenge Mel makes me build on my own if, she, if I'm making something for her now. Like, I'll go home and build it for her and then come back and put them in the gallery. So if you see some random houses on the gallery, it's probably like I built them for Mel so that she could use them in a game. Or at least maybe did, too. Um, on our gallery, which is Mel K Plays, which is where you can find this sim. We put it on the gallery today, actually, right after we did it. And usually we forget. So today was special, and we remembered to do it. There's probably a bunch of videos where it's not in the gallery, and if you ever find one that's on the gallery, um, you family should... Family Tree Challenge. Family Tree Challenge. Are, do you want those characters on the gallery? I think they are. <laughs> I think they are in the gallery. Brianna and Henry and everything? Maybe we can upload them again once we have the baby. Which is not happening at all. I don't know if still yeah. grinding. But... Um, so yes, yeah, very exciting. Um, do you want to talk about your new room? Yeah, so for her new room, we've been talking about this a lot, but I don't feel like we haven't gone too in detail. Well, we probably have, but we'll just talk about it again. So Mel, for her new room, is having is going to have this little, like, nook that's just for YouTube. Basically her recording studio, which is very exciting. And I think once we have that all done, we're going to try some new editing techniques, but we won't tell you what they are. You have to be surprised. Yes. Yeah. Um, we'll try some new editing techniques and stuff and be very professional. Claire Siobhan. Claire Siobhan is your hint. That's your hint on what it was. <laughs> should we tell them or should we make them wait? Make them wait? Go tell them? Oh, okay. Then we're not making wait. Um, we... Mel wants to be just like Claire Siobhan. Um, as I'm sure most of you know by, by this point. So we're gonna try to edit kind of in the similar style. Not exactly like her, obviously. But just Mel, we've been doing using OBS to film everything, which makes it so that her webcam, like so that it, when it's focused on her face, her face cam, whatever you call it, is attached to the video with the sim. So you can't, like when I zoom in on her, it's kind of like I'm zooming in on the whole video and it's not the greatest quality for that. So we're going to try to do two different things. Um, so just still use OBS to screen record, but then just kind of film her separately from it so that we can kind of, um, what's it called, like put them together in a way that's more, um, that is, has more quality, video quality, um, and stuff, which is cool. So yeah, and every time that we film we find different ways, and every time we edit we find different ways to edit, um, so it's good. But yeah, anything else you want to talk about? We have like two more minutes to talk about whatever we want to talk about. Or do you want to talk about it? Do you want to talk about other things in your room? Um, actually, if we're going to do 10 likes, 10 likes on this video if you want Mel to do a room tour once everything's done. We'll do it only if you get 10 likes on this video. Okay. <coughs> Alright. 10 <coughs> likes. We want 10. Should I bump it up to more? How many likes should, they, should we get on this video? <coughs> you say it. 21. 21 likes? 20 likes? 20 likes. 31. 30 likes. Oh my gosh. Okay. 20 likes will do it, and 30 likes will be very happy about doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want a new room tour and like a before and after type of situation, let us know. Definitely gonna be really cool. Um, so yeah, so then for this last minute, we're just picking out the end results and dressing them and giving them their traits. Um, the mother, I think, was creative and a perfectionist and um, family-oriented. And the daughter was creative and creative for her aspiration and her trait. And the mom was Nifty Knitting, was her, her, um, I didn't say it before, but Nifty Knitting, she wanted to be a good knitter, was basically her aspiration. But that's all that I have to say for now. So with that, I am gonna sign off and we'll see you on Sunday. And I'm gonna let Mel take it away right now. Bye everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below.